Hey guys, it's 11:13 uh, a.m. December 2nd. Interesting day today. Um, big pullback in the queues and a sharp, sharp reversal. Big, big pullback in EV stocks. Huge reversal on stuff like Neo is getting just completely obliterated. Um, looks like the next target's 45.90, maybe 46, and then 46.88. Um, I was showing on the stream um, earlier on Twitch the Fibonacci retracement. What I did was I ran a top area at 52, which is kind of like the area where we had in the, re in the recent high. Um, if you look at five day 20s, you can kind of see that things were kind of okay. We were kind of channeling and then we had this little high area right around 52, give or take a few pennies here. Um, the other day and then things just came apart and then once again today a big liquidation gap to the downside and a strong um, impressive reversal um, I was actually impressed with how strong we reversed not that we bounced off this area hard but that we just continued up through the 38.2 Fibonacci and now above the 50% uh, which obviously means the bulls are in charge here um, Looking for 46.88 area, 46. Maybe we buy a little bit short because of this move to the downside. So maybe somewhere around 46.70 would be the next target price. It's just hard to buy it um, on declining volume to the upside and the RSI is kind of getting a little over bought on 20 minutes, but there's still a little bit of wiggle room left there. Kind of hard to believe. Um, GBTC, interesting move in the, uh, in the um, Bitcoin. And if you look at the one year daily, normally when you have a gap down, here's my channel lines. This is the old intermediate channel line that we kind of broke down in April. Um, I guess that was actually March. And then we kind of gravitated back up and we started to get back down towards the longer term channel and we curled back up and then we touched the longer term channel and then just rocketed up from there. We got overbought to the upside. Then we gapped down, a huge gap down around the 18 area where I bought some and sold at 23. The interesting thing is when we bounced back up, um, we didn't bounce back down again once we hit the 23 area, which was my resistance. This was a little bit overbought on this doji, but um, why did we not just come back down again and consolidate? We actually pushed a little bit higher, and now we're kind of consolidating. That's actually kind of bullish. So I don't know how this all plays out. Maybe we do start to pull back in time, but the more time you sit up here and burn off the clock, that kind of favors the bulls in my opinion. Um, next target price would be 27 and then longer term looks like right around 30 on GBTC. Hard to believe, but something's going on here. We're building some energy. Um, and like I said, the more you sit up here, the more it favors the bulls. Interesting move in that. So, um, there's that. Let me see what else we got going on. Um, Pfizer has been kind of interesting lately. Hanging in there. Um, I bought a little PayPal. My favorite chart right now is actually Amazon, probably. The Amazon chart looks super strong. And then I was just watching Zoom. I was actually short Zoom at 423 today. And just did a quick scalp. And it's interesting if you run Fibonacci's intraday, they work as well. I've been doing that a lot lately because I think there's a lot of computerized trading. A lot of emotional trading so for instance you run a fib from the intraday high high to the low there and it kind of tells you where you're gonna start to see some resistance and you know a little bit of a bull bear battle for 1825 I mean so you have the Fibonacci all the way up then you literally come back to the 61.8 and then you fire back up and now you're kind of now it's like it's not really a high pop probability trade here it's more of a guess trade um, because you do have a pretty decent pullback from the high of the 424 I actually covered right in here and I left a lot of money on the table um, I was short 80 shares but I could have got another I don't know $400 on that move so once again you're having a little battle here Q is the same thing impressive move it just seems like there's so many buyers ready to step in um, on pullbacks um, if you look at the big pullback today intraday big drop and they just buy it hard you know, very impressive move there on the queues. So it's still a bullish market um, until we start to break some of the longer term trends. Um, nothing really stands out to me today. 
like I said, I do like the Amazon chart and I'm kind of keeping my eye on Zoom for reversal too. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, um, Netflix for reversal too. And I think that's about it. Today is kind of one of those days where I really don't, nothing really stands out um, that I'm impressed with here. Other than keeping an eye on the uh, interesting action in Bitcoin there. I mean, it really should have pulled back and it didn't. So keep an eye on that as well. It starts to get above 24. It's going to really move. I have a small position here waiting for a directional change. 